The powerful technique, described in leading journal science, could revolutionize research into two-dimensional semiconductors and excitons, with profound implications for future technological devices, from solar cells and LEDs to smartphones and lasers. They form when electrons in the semiconductor material are excited by light to a higher energy state, leaving behind a hole at the energy level where the electron previously resided. Holes are the absence of an electron, and so carry the opposite charge to an electron, explained senior author Professor Keshav Dani, who leads the Femtosecond Spectroscopy Unit at the Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology Graduate University, OIST. But other types of excitons also exist, including momentum-forbidden dark excitons. In this type of dark exciton, the electrons have a different momentum from the holes to which they are bound, which prevents them from absorbing light. This also means that electrons in dark excitons have a different momentum from the electrons in bright excitons. Shining light on dark excitons to visualize dark excitons for the first time, the scientists modified a powerful technique that previously had largely been used to study single, unbound electrons. There was a lot of theoretical work in the scientific community discussing the validity of this approach, said Professor Danny. Their method proposed that if a beam of light containing photons of a high enough energy was used to hit excitons in the semiconductor material, the energy from the photons would break apart the excitons and kick the electrons right out of the material. By measuring the direction that the electrons fly out of the material, the scientists would then be able to determine the initial momentum of the electrons when they were part of excitons. The scientists would therefore not only be able to see, but also differentiate, the bright excitons from the dark excitons. But implementing this new technique required solving some enormous technical challenges. The scientists needed to generate light pulses with high-energy extreme ultraviolet photons of capable of splitting the excitons and kicking the electrons out of the material. The instrument then needed to be able to measure the energy and angle of these electrons. Further, since excitons are so short-lived, the instrument had to work on timescales of less than a thousand billionths of a second. Lastly, the instrument also required high enough spatial resolution to measure the 2D semiconductor samples, which are typically available only in micron scale sizes. The researchers saw that, as predicted, there were both bright and dark excitons present in the semiconductor material. But to their surprise, the scientists also found that dark excitons dominated the material, outnumbering the bright excitons. The team further observed that under certain conditions, as the excited electrons scattered throughout the material and changed momentum, the excitons could shift between being bright or dark. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon. We will notify you technological news. Thank you.